takes on the veteran lefty, 43 years young, Eric Forkel, who said one for the old guys after he beat Parker Bow in the third. Nice numbers for Eric in that opener. Disastrous for Parker. Open frames all over the place. Right where we left off. Oh yeah, and you know what? It is on, and there will be some trash talking going on in this match. Because Eric certainly isn't going to back down from Danny, and Danny, well, <laughs> he doesn't back down from, to or from anybody, so there's going to be a lot of trash talking, I think, Dave. Bid for an 11th career title, Randy, today for Danny Wiseman. He saw a chiropractor last week in Toledo. He mentioned the injury issues with Leslie a moment ago. Work on that wrist problem. This is coming off the toe surgery. Yeah, the same procedure Shaquille O'Neal had. <laughs> Remember how much that sideline Shaq. Danny had the surgery just after the World Championship last year and was essentially out of bowling for three months. Operating on Shaq's toes, kind of like operating on somebody's legs, though, isn't it? <laughs> how big is that shoe? Like 25 or something? Went it's down a big to toe. PDW went down to him in the round of eight. And had a good start for. Danny Wiseman, Baby Ruth, real deal matchup, Randy. Yeah, you know what? This is gonna be one of the tightest matches we're gonna see. Everything is pretty much even all the way around the board with the exception of spare conversion. Uh, however, I don't know if this match is going to be determined by who makes the most spares. I think this is gonna be determined by who strikes more than their opponent. Interesting to see right, right uh, off the bat that Danny's going much straighter than Rick Steelsmith did. It's gonna come down to who's got the better ball reaction and who makes the best shots? Amongst the TV numbers, 10 and four in title matches. Gets late help over a 230 average. If he makes the title match in his great career in the 10 wins, trying to do that today against Eric Forkel. Danny Wiseman going pretty straight right around the second arrow. We saw Rick Steelsmith using two different bowling balls, playing much deeper. Danny using the same ball, going nice and straight and direct. See if it works. Adjusting some tape in the thumb hole for Danny. Back to the lefty from Las Vegas. 4-7 for Eric Forkel. That's not what you want to happen right before you go on the air is to lose a feel in the thumb hole. Danny's adjusting tape front to back. Try to get a good feel. Danny's... Uh, one of the few players on tour that actually uses a really, really tight thumb hole. Chris Barnes is another player that comes to mind who, I mean, they literally have to jam their thumb in the thumb hole. Guys like myself, Del yeah, Valley, Rick Steelsmith, we like to have that thing big Come so we can get in there and it. grab on it. Next shot. Come on. Eric obviously not pleased with his last shot. Just gonna lay out and let the guys do the rest of the uh, match for us. Dave Ryan, let me know when it's my turn. All even. Forkel third frame works on a spare. On lane 23. That's what I'm talking about. So funny to listen to Eric compete on TV, Randy, because we met with him last night. He couldn't be more mild-mannered, soft-spoken. Yeah, and that's the, way, that, that's the way he is. But you know, when you get in the heat of battle, you know, PA talked about it, you know, he has to look for that, that, that evil, like his evil twin to come out. That's what happens, man, when you're out there battling for your, for your career. Anything can happen. Plus strike there for Wiseman and a 10 pin lead. We're coming here from Sproul Lane, Springfield, PA, just outside the great city of Philadelphia. Greater Philadelphia Open, Dave Ryan, Randy Peterson, Leslie Goodell, Lane level with us. And our great crew as our live coverage continues. We've seen Steel Smith go down to Patrick Allen. He's in the final against either Forkel or Wiseman. And the native of Baltimore, 10 pin lead. He's ready. 
Take a look. Danny Wiseman, he came with a game plan, and that game plan was to attack the pocket from further right and much more direct. And watch this reaction. Yeah, that's game on. Five players, players since match play began in 2001 on the wild card spot as Eric Forkel is now down 20. Working on strike. Five have won the tournament. Ooh. The end of last season in Dallas, Chris Barnes did it. He was the last to complete why that. Didn't that go down? I'm wondering right. why the wiggling 10 is still wiggling. Trusted it. Didn't make it. It just something's not adding up here for me, Dave. You know, looking at Eric with those shades on it. It sounds like he, he should say something more like, I must break you. Don't you think? <laughs> Was that Arnold? Yeah, Arnold. <laughs> Governor-elect Schwarzenegger. Finishing out the fourth frame, 10 pin. <laughs> Takes the traditional right, try. old school hook at it. Gotta show him he's still around. Don't let him run away. Don't let him run away. Stay near. Eric told us last night, after making the show this week, getting back into the groove where he had his good years. He's going back to the 90s now. Finally feeling like himself again. Early 90s endured an extraordinary injury. Oh, boy, it's the 7-10. still up. Repairing a skylight in his home. Hi, fell love, love, love and away. broke his back. Take a look at this where Eric gets a nice break, not leading the blot 7-10, but not carrying either. Might break his back in this match. He's thrown three quality shots in a row. He's only got one strike to show for it. And his opponent, Danny Wiseman, is working on three in a row. He didn't need surgery, was hospitalized three weeks, and went through tireless months of painful rehabilitation to get himself back to where he was physically <laughs> and mentally. And Eric told us last night, you know what? I don't want to think about that anymore. That was a different phase of my life. It is an extraordinary story. He acknowledges that, but he has tried, at least psychologically, to move on. Yeah, he was lucky to be alive after that. And Obviously thankful to, to be back in the position he's in today. Wiseman yeah. stays hot lane, 24. Yeah. 31 pin lead. 41 pin deficit for Forkel.